Constitution to George Washington and his troops who miraculously escaped from Long Island in the fog, to the old skeptic Ben Franklin who called for prayer at the Constitutional Convention, Americans have understood that we get into tough times, the things that we do naturally is to call on God. This was recognized in 1954 was added to our Pledge of Allegiance. These words, one nation under God. Those words were taken from the Gettysburg Address delivered by President Lincoln. And they were first delivered publicly on the steps of the U.S. Capitol, June 1954, by President Eisenhower. And so, as we now renew our commitment to the red, white, and blue, let us with boldness proclaim the fact that we are one nation under God. It is altogether fitting and proper that we should do this, and it drives the liberals crazy. that the strength of this nation is in the character and the courage and the ingenuity of the American people. This is your moment. Now is the time. Let your voice be heard. 39 pages and our founding fathers enshrined freedom for us for over 230 years. 2,000 pages and the people in the building behind us want to take your freedoms away. The mandates and the abortion and all of the other things that don't belong in here. We broke it down. This bill comes out to over $530 million per page in new federal spending. And I can tell you it's a lot of pages. It's about 20 pounds. I'm holding up here. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And then, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for your support for liberty. Thank you for supporting the alternative, H.R. 3400. We have a good alternative. And I'd like to let you know that you've already made a huge difference. Uh, just for us to be here in November, uh, Speaker Pelosi didn't mean for you to...